Okay. Huh. Um. Well, that's interesting. There's a colorblind mode in this. That's actually really considerate, Rockstar. I'm going to give you credit on that. Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we busted Micah out of prison, and he's a fucking idiot, in my opinion. Oh, here's where's that beggar dude? Read about hey. the haunt for the Leviticus Cornwall train robber. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Partner? Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. And I think the lack of Can't an arm. We be friends? Uh, sure, what you need, man? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Sure. <sighs> okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. You've seen to have some each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. How are you then? Um, why are you... Okay, I thought he was following me. I'm curious about this church. I'm gonna check that out. Oh! Puppy! Good oh, boy. Okay, I can't check out the church. At least not right now. Oh, yeah. Gotta go down here. I'm gonna stop by the gunsmith and I'm gonna stock up on plenty of ammunition. If that's alright with everyone. Excuse me? Hello, gentlemen. Partner? Semi-automatic pistol. I forget when the first semi-auto pistol was. Probably sometime between, I guess, 1898. 
And that's when the first semi-auto shotgun was, so... First semi-auto pistol, da 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 da, in the 1880s. 1882 to be exact. The Sean Breger er, Lawnman, 1892, first semi-auto pistol. Neat, but I need, oh, let's take a look at rifles. Varmint rifle is $72. I really need to pick that up one of these days. But for now, I need pistol, revolver. Just all everything you have. Express. I guess they're faster. Yeah. Don't have any rifle ammo. I'll take some arrows though. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Wait, I have a hunting rifle? What? Oh, that's the hunting knife. I keep seeing that as rifle. I can't be the only one who sees that as... Good to see you again, pardon? So, what are you aiming for today? Oh, I can just look at the items on shelves. Well, off to save Javier, my favorite Mexican boy. Yeah. Or is it your second favorite? Because I'm Hispanic. I'm Mex. I'm half Mexican. So as a man, I'm only half. Fa you know what? I'm not going to go into details on that. No kidding. Oh, I can just change my hat on Will. I just know I'm going to regret this. Oh, 
Oh, I just know I'm gonna regret this. Oh, you're giving me a headache. I won't ask again. Move out of the way. Where are you fellas going? Off to have some fun with whoever you got in the back. Your choice. Put him out. Yeah. You showed up when you did. I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> might be something there for you. <laughs> Interesting. Thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Hello, mister. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well... I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Hmm. 
He's ready to shoot. Where'd he go? Look at that. He dropped the bag. Kyle, don't think about coming back. Kinda wish I would have had the chance to shoot it. Thing was probably hungry. tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Well, that was fun. Just saying hello is all. You don't want to see what happens if you don't believe. You're about to get shot to pieces. You know that? Calm down. Okay. Dude. Why am I not surprised? This ain't gonna end well for you, you bastard. Will you hold still? Jesus Christ. Why'd you have to go and be an asshole, huh?
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. Yeah, this is fucking black water. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I, I am. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Find the boat. I'm gonna guess it's that little golden X on the map. Let's head up river and find this Oof. boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. <laughs> what happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go! Stay with them! You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. <laughs> the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! We're following you, buddy. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen.
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. So, no shooty shooty bang bang, no explosives. Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two use the bow. I can take a hint. Okay, get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Wait, not dynamite. Get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. If it's all the same to you, I'm gonna make sure my mask is on. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Let's go now. Keep down. I beside myself. I if I lose if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's take it. A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Hey, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? We're gonna have to shoot our way up! Oh, right in the eye. Right in the head. Ah, damn it, that's... Why'd my weapon switch? Right in the damn head. Yeah, let me take their shit first.
Nope, nope, nope. I gotta say, dual wielding is pretty fun. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these English putas. Good shot. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. And there's Blucher, coming in to be my nope, my loyal steed. The first shall be last. But this has been going on for 40 minutes now, so I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I see what other trouble and mixed ship I can get into in this 
time where everyone wants to see me drop from a gallow. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.